Chef, author, and award-winning television host Anthony Bourdain here. He's been taking the world on adventurous culinary journeys for years, and now he is out with a long overdue, at least we think so, family-inspired cookbook called Simply Appetites. Anthony, good morning. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. We, I mean, I have to say there's like a genuine energy in the whole studio, not just because we all love you, That's but hunger. also we, we want to <laughs> eat what you're cooking, whatever you're making. And we'll get to that in a minute, but I want to ask you about the cookbook, because mm -hmm. it's actually been 10 years since you wrote one. I think I'm making up for my sins by trying to be, you know, by, I, I enjoy my work so much. Uh, I, I try to be useful this time. I'm the father <laughs> of a nine-year-old. These are uh, these are dishes that, that she likes. And uh, it's very much a book uh, geared towards being useful and uh, entertaining at home with a nine-year-old in mind. Okay, so it's not so adventurous as no. to be intimidating. No, and I think, uh, you know, reasonable expectations should be an important part of a cookbook. People should understand where they're likely to mess up and, and you know, what they should and shouldn't try if, you know, you're really trying to impress people. Uh, I think a lot of cookbooks are unrealistic in that way, and I think this is geared very much towards, you know, ordinary cooks cooking at home for friends and Be family. Besides accessibility, mm -hmm. is there a common thread through the recipes, or is it just all kind um, of different cuisines? Stuff I like and connect with on an emotional level, uh, not fancy, and a few greatest hits from uh, from around the world that I've picked up. But again, these are things that, you know, any, you know, a late night stoner in a dormitory should be able to throw together. <laughs> well, you just, you just described me in my college years, but okay, just kidding, not really. <laughs> no. Let's get to cooking. I'll follow you because we're going to make something absolutely delicious. I should mention our taste testers are downstairs, very anxious to try it. Does this, your daughter like adventurous cuisine? Uh, or is she like a chicken tenders gal? She very much likes uh, she's very daring with her food and uh, was eating oysters at age. I never tried to make her a foodie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she's uh, pretty open to everything. So what are we making today? All right. We're doing what uh, basically every grandmother in Italy does better than me. In fact, probably every grandmother, Italian-American grandmother in New Jersey. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this was Sunday gravy. It's a tradition of getting two dishes uh, out of one. You slow braise some meat. I'm using oxtail here. Now, why the choice of oxtail? Um, it's this is the traditional thing. You can use uh, beef short ribs instead, mm -hmm. a neck bone, a pork uh, neck bone. Okay. You could use chicken bones as well. I think it's important people understand yep. that you should never overcrowd the pan when you brown the meat. So okay. Brown the meat. Once it is browned, remove it from the uh, from the pan. You get all this nice brown stuff down there. Okay. So you have your meat over here. Yeah. We're going to add in some in of our spices here. Our onions. Okay. You want to sort of sweat them for a bit. Very important to salt your onions. Okay. At this time, really brings up the flavor. So you're browning the oxtail first, and then yeah. when, are we, when are we adding our on neck side. bones? Uh, oxtail the and neck time. bones. Oh, okay. But you, you don't want to crowd the pan because gotcha. it'll it'll get it'll get too cool. So a little pepper, mm -hmm. a crushed red pepper. Yeah. A little oregano. Some garlic. garlic. Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm speeding this up, but yes. generally once they're sort of soft and clear, very important sort okay. of chef's trick, throw in your tomato paste. Mm -hmm. And you want to mix it around in there. Okay. Saute it for a while until it gets brown. All right. And starts to stick to the pan. Doesn't look too pretty, but at this point, deglaze. Deglaze the pan. Okay. Use some red wine. Magic a little television. stock, yes. and you scrape up all of that good stuff into all your the sauce. Little bits and parts at the bottom. Reduce by half. You get something that looks very much like this. Okay, oh, that looks very good. Okay. Looks meaty. Now you can add your tomato, your crushed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. and you said when you were Feeding taught this by an, a, a real Italian grandma who kept hitting you every time. I was in Naples, you did it wrong. and she was periodically she was hitting me as um. <laughs> That's what Matt does to me during the show. Uh, sachet bag, which is basically just uh, some basil, a bay leaf, a little rosemary and thyme. Mm -hmm. Throw right in there okay. with your meat, yes. plop it all in, bring it up to a boil, put on the lid, and throw into a 350 degree oven for about two and a half hours. At which point you can then throw in your sausages okay. back into the oven for another half hour. Okay. And through the magic of television. Let us see. And downstairs, let us taste. What do you guys think? Oh, you're too late. We've been We're tasting finished. since this That's segment right. started. <laughs> it's it's delicious. Delicious. Some good bread to sop up oh, the sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. it's so good. And there we go. You should have, yeah. you know, nice, oh my tender, gosh. fall off the bone meat, which you want to serve on the side okay. as a second course. 
using that sauce with all that nice meat flavor, you toss your pasta in that dress of pasta. So you get two courses. Beautiful. For one, out of relatively inexpensive ingredients. And then, of course, you actually kind of have three courses because at the end of the day, you can do your scarpette. You, you drag your That's bread around That's what I was just talking sauce. about. You need a good bread and really get her done there. It's, it's almost not worth eating anymore if you can't drag bread through it at the end. <laughs> we <laughs> totally believe that. Anthony Bourdain, thank you so much. The cookbook is called Appetites. If you want to get this recipe, go to today.com slash food. <laughs> Don't forget to sign up for our food club while you're there. We're back in a moment. Hi, hey, this Savannah. is today. Yes. Can I just say it's so nice to see you two together? Oh, thank you. Not you, you and Anthony. No, you in the stove. <laughs> oh. Oh, you. <laughs> We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.